About a year ago, I made a video about the best laptop for cybersecurity. The truth, the truth is what we're after. I am making this video now because I think my takes in that video were <laughs> Let me explain why. You can make do with what you have, in most cases at least. You don't need high-end specs. Now, this isn't necessarily a bad take, this one stays. If you can't afford anything better than what you have, make do with what you have. Save up and eventually you might be able to upgrade the RAM, the storage, or just throw away the entire thing and get a new one, right? The problem with the video I made last time is that I recommended Windows laptops exclusively and that is the entire premise of this video I am doing now. Windows machines absolutely suck. Yeah, you suck. Yeah, you just suck. The bloat that comes with them, all the security issues that get you slow patches every Tuesday, the trackpads and the keyboards are ass and the worst of all are the fans. Right. Oh my God, I cannot stand the sound of the fans from my laptop when I'm doing something either CPU or RAM intensive. It's like the thing is about to take off from your desk. Absolutely annoying, right? But this isn't necessarily only a Windows problem though. I have an Intel based MacBook that I use for work from time to time for a specific client. And that one is just as bad, if not worse than any other Windows machine I've used when it comes to fan noise. Which is absolutely crazy to me. So maybe Intel chips are the problem, but who cares? I still blame Windows, right? This fan issue was fixed with the introduction of the ARM based M1 chip by Apple, right? The silicon chips that use the ARM architecture. Now, I know that a lot of you are gonna come for me saying that. Uh, but Cardi, Apple Silicon processors using the ARM architecture don't support virtualization. Bull it's not as convenient, but you could pay for parallel desktop to run virtual machines. If anything, Windows runs faster in virtual machines on parallel desktop than it actually does on your hardware, which makes no sense to me, right? VMware also has a tech preview, which I've used personally, and it works for the most part, and it is free to download. So you could literally virtualize your Kali Linux and your Windows on your Mac, and they'll both run nicely. So that is the only problem you will have when you get a laptop with the Apple Silicon chip, apart from the price, right? That stuff is expensive. Everything else is crisp from the display to the trackpad to the lack of fan noise. The speed, the display is really nice. By the way, I don't know if I mentioned that, but you can run every program you want as well as programs you don't need. And this thing will not make any sort of noise. It might just get a tad hot, but it will not make any noise. So even if it gets hot, you won't know it's hot because it's not making noise, so you don't touch it. You know what I mean? It just fixes itself. Not to forget, Mac is a Unix system, so you don't have to worry about Windows CMB anymore. You can run IPA or IF config right in the terminal. Can you hear that? I don't know what that is. Right, anyways, I would like to edit videos and not feel like I'm on an airport one way but these things these macbooks are expensive as well i can't afford it <laughs> if you'd like to support this noble cause of mine getting a macbook like and subscribe so that i can get myself a macbook because i am broke as hell damn